Okay, so I recorded this whole entire vlog out of focus. And I'm having to do it again at three o'clock in the morning. Doesn't matter because I can't sleep anyway. Questions are here and let's get to it. Question number one, do you prefer the Titanic or the Notebook, the movie? Definitely the Notebook. Titanic was way too long and there was a romantic story there, but only one person died. Jack, Jack, there's a boat. Well, the notebook people died too, but it was more peaceful and they actually got to grow old together. So notebook. And I actually cried on that movie. So yeah. Can you whistle? Yes, I can whistle. Uh, as a matter of fact, as a matter of Fact. I actually was whistling in the house Friday and my mother-in-law was here and she absolutely hates it. How many time I told you don't whistle in the night time, night time, night time. When people whistle inside the house. So I got away with it because we were actually in my house. So she didn't tell me to stop, but everybody thought it was funny. Now, how many times have I been in the hospital? Four. One, because Jada, my little sister, almost broke my nose using her Fisher-Price fishing rod. I broke my femur playing football, you know, like the big bone, like that bone, right above my knee. And third time was because I was stressed out at work and I had some really, really bad uh, chest pains and anxiety. So I went in for that. And the last time was because Nala, our dog actually bit me before she passed away. When do you and Chastity plan on having kids? We don't plan on actually having the kid until 2019, but we plan on starting to get, I guess you can say starting the process of having, you know what that means. Would you rather live in a rural community or the suburbs? Either would be fine with me. As long as I got neighbors that I can probably borrow sugar or butter from, can of boss some shook. I'm fine with it. What was the last compliment that I got? It was that I had a encouraging spirit. I like that compliment. It was the first time I've ever actually been complimenting on complimented on my ability to encourage people. Well, verbally out loud in the way that she said it. How many pairs of shoes do you currently have? Way too many to count. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? Who wouldn't want to? Okay, I'm out of focus. Who wouldn't want a British accent? Answer that question. What was the worst grade I ever got on an exam? C plus. Oh no, it can't be. C plus? Let's just say that I am an entrepreneur because of the score that I got on this test. I'm not gonna talk about the test. I'm just gonna say that I failed it with flying colors. What made you start a YouTube channel and how long have you been on YouTube? I actually looked it up just a second ago. I've actually been on YouTube for three years. Up and down, uh, concept, no concept. And I actually started because my really good friend and brother, Jarrell, introduced me to Matthew Santoro. And I went on a binge of watching Matthew Santoro's videos and I said, hey, I think it'd be a good idea if I turn my camera on myself. So I tried it out for a while and it, it was cool, but I, I felt like I didn't have any direction or I didn't really necessarily know how to tell my story until around like April 2015, where I ran into Gary Vaynerchuk and Gary Vaynerchuk introduced me to uh, Casey Neistat and I studied Casey, I studied Gary, uh, well I studied Gary's team, D-Rock, uh, his videographer, and I just like, I watched how they told the story for those uh, how they told stories in video and that's how I kind of developed my own little style uh, based off of things that I've seen that I like and implemented in my own videos. But to answer the question as to why I started a YouTube channel is because I, I felt like I had an interesting story to tell uh, and I wanted something that was going to actually give me the ability to create something for myself 
every single day. The last question here is, where have I been? Sorry, I looked at the viewfinder. Uh, and that question, I'm pretty sure that it's more or less one of the questions as to why I haven't been uploading. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest. I tried to vlog about it while I was uh, like pretty much on a hiatus. Uh, I had something really tragic happen and my family, I'm not gonna say specifically what it is because it just brings back horrible memories. But yeah, something really bad happened and honestly, I just, I've really been depressed and really like unencouraged in myself to actually create anything. Uh, it's actually been pretty hard. Of course, you guys know that I'm uh, working with a marketing agency and it's even been hard for me to create the images and things that I need to create for actual work because of this. Uh, so to push myself to create things here on YouTube or even things on Instagram has been like insanely uh, hard for me. And this is my attempt to get back at it. And truth be told, that I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining or sound like, uh, like or make this a big woe is me story, but this year has been like insane and it's like been insane enough to where like it's like hindered my creativity in ways that I absolutely hate and I'm trying my best to come out of those things and I'm making an attempt to do this right now. So I'm staying up super late because I fought with this all day today to make myself jump back on this horse and continue to get on it and do whatever it is that I have to do to get back into the process, have it, and get back on the schedule to actually do this. Uh, depression is very real, whether it be chemical depression or circumstantial uh, situational depression, like it's like insanely real. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't sought out help uh, or anything like that, but I will say that um, it exists. And if anybody ever tells you black, white, Asian, uh, Puerto Rican, uh, polka dot, striped, whatever, if they ever say that it's something that people just make up to get out of doing work, they're full of shit. And I'm, I'll say that blatantly, uh, excuse my French. Uh, but anyway, guys, I just want to ask that you continue to be patient with me. Thank you for continuing to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you tell everybody that I am back. I'm sorry if that cracked and I woke Chastity up because she's sleeping on the couch. This is all reminiscent right now because this is what my old videos used to be like. Anyway, I'm going on too long, just like my other videos. I need to get off of this so I can actually edit this, put in my little quirky stuff and actually try to get into bed for at least a nap because I got to get right back up, go to work. Peace.